Yo, what's up guys? Cuban here. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to install Sonic Adventure RTX. So this mod is pretty badass. Um, but yeah, first things first, what you're going to want to do is download these three files that I have right here in my downloads folder. I will be linking these files in the description below. So when you download these three files, get back to me. All right, sweet. Now that we got that out of the way, the first step is to open up Sonic Adventure DX setup and put yes. What this does is it's going to convert our Steam copy of Sonic Adventure into put don't check for updates by the way. It's going to convert it to a 2004 copy of Sonic Adventure DX. Click next. So yeah, let's go to where it says preset mode and click on where it says Steam to 2004. Next. And I'll just give it a second. It should download in a bit. 30 seconds, give or take. 15 seconds. Alright, sweet. We have successfully converted our Sonic Adventure DX into the 2004 version. You can click finish. Now, after that's done, we're going to want to extract this file, SARTX installer, and let's extract it. Perfect. Once it's extracted, it should look like this. Double click on it after you extracted it. And let's go to where it says installer. But before you click on installer, let's go to Steam and right click on Sonic Adventure DX, manage, of course says browse local files, click on top of here, click and then copy it, copy this address right here. Perfect. Once you did that, you can close it out. Now we can hit installer. Once you hit installer, you paste your the address by typing control and V on your keyboard at the same time. Perfect. Now press enter. Sweet. Now it's modding it. Now once it's done, you can press any key to continue. Just press enter if you want. Perfect. All right. Now let's go back to Steam. Right click. Manage. Browse local files on Sonic Adventure DX again. And now we should have SA Mod Manager in our Steam folder right here. If you see that, click on it. Double click on it. Perfect. All right, now for this next step, we're going to click on add mod and click installing from an archive. Okay, and click on Dreamcast, Dreamcast conversion. It should be in your downloads folder. So click on Dreamcast conversion. Give it a few. Uh, it takes slightly a bit longer when it's an archive rather than when it's already extracted. I guess it's extra extracting it for you. So just give it a few seconds. And once you ex it's finished, that's good. Let's go to game config, configuration, and make sure where it says enhancements right here, make sure to click on this and put Direct3D9. Perfect. Save that. Now let's go back to our where it says mods up here. And let's check mark both these little tabs right here, these mods. Perfect. Now let's click save and play perfect you successfully did it once you see where it says that, that little message on top where it says that welcome to nvidia rtx remix when you see that that means you did it correctly perfect now let me show you how it looks on inside the game select a file all right select your character let's get him Yes, it does not show the character for some reason in the, in the screen right here. That's normal. But here it is, guys. The RTX mod, baby. Beautiful. Stunning. Honestly, man, uh, they popped off with this mod. They really did. Look at that. 
Isn't that amazing? You are completely That's so sick. And let's look at our Sonic model. Like, the Sonic model is what... Look at that. Oof. Boy. There we go. Look at that, man. <laughs> That's so fucking sexy, man. Aw, oh, shit. Alright, well, enough of that. Just want to show you guys that. But, now you're wondering. You're probably wondering to yourself. Okay, we did the mod, we did everything, but that's not Steam, that's still through the mod manager. We're not playing Steam, and you're correct, it wasn't playing through Steam. But, since we're done with that, we can exit out mod manager, and this is a secret to it. This is how you make Steam play the, the RTX version of Sonic Adventure DX. So, bear with me right here. There should be an application that's called App Launcher. Let's delete App Launcher. Right click on App Launcher. Delete. Go where it says SA Mod Manager. Replace that. I mean, show more options. Rename. And let's name it App Launcher. We're pretty much tricking the system into thinking that that's the App Launcher when it's not. It's the Mod Manager. Perfect. I'll close that out and now play it again. Let's see what happens. You can press play. Perfect. You see, look at that. Save and play. And it puts you inside the game. And not only that, you are technically playing on Steam now. So that's the trick to it. A lot of people don't know that. They think they're forced to play Sonic Adventure DX without the RTX mod and they can't play it, you know, but you could. So that's the trick to it. And let me show you proof of that. Look at that. See? Through Steam, y'all. Through Steam. It works. Select your character. Let's get him. Let's see you real quick. Perfect. Let me skip it real quick so I can show you guys. Look at that. Oof. Fuck. Alright. Sweet, but yeah, guys, there's the mod. It works on Steam. Hope this helped you out. If it did, leave a like below and a comment. That would mean a lot to me. And kick some ass, man. Peace out, y'all.